Hey guys, welcome to the Top Live. It's your boy Big Bang. I'm a hip hop artist, born and raised in Belize. 501, my third world. Y'all that. My life, my fiance. Pushing that coco, hit you with ultra. My niggas, they loco. Dodging the pump, I'm mucho de narrow. Y'all moving in slow mo. I swear I'm a fairer, hot like a scarecrow. Some of my influences growing up uh, mainly was Biggie Smalls. When I was like a kid, I, I went to a party and I had got a Biggie Smalls CD. It was a, the Ready to Die album. I had a, a Walkman at the time. Several hundred years ago, long before you were born, this was invented. This simply has one function and it is to play music, but all in the ease and comfort of a walk. So they called it a Walkman. Cause you put it on your head and you can walk, man. And I was listening to that this and I was like, yo, this shit is so fire. And I saw his first music video and I was like, damn, I really want to be like this, like a big fly guy. I got all, all the girls on me, like, you feel me swagging out? I was like, yeah, you know, this is what I want to do. And Biggie was really my influence for that. I see some ladies tonight that should be having my baby, uh, baby. Uh, uh. Beside that, um, after I got older, like music changed and I like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was so fire and he took it over for my generation. And after that, I've just been listening to a lot of different stuff. But Biggie Smalls is my main influence to make me want to do music. Pretty white bitches getting high off of cocaine. Cocaine. Young hood niggas getting rich off of cocaine. Cocaine. I would describe my style of music um, different. I have different styles too, cause I have my aggressive style sometimes that I bring over just by, that's my energy just from, from my life, just being through everything I've been through, seeing everything I've seen, just built me to a way that, you feel me, I have a lot of built up aggression and stuff I just let out in the music. It's like a form of therapy for me. And then also I have like different styles, like deeper music that just, I detail on that pain and that experience that I've been through. Man, man they kill my nigga James. We ain't find him till the next day. I see some ups and downs. I'm still trying to see my best day. Been blood my whole life. I seen bloods kill my best friend. So I don't push colors. I'm just trying to push a new bands. So they have different styles that I got, but uh, I would say for sure, like the shit that I like energetic. I got energetic music, like with a lot of rage in it, and that's what I really be about. She told her baby daddy he crazy. That's why he been ducking me lately. Um, to me, in my musical journey in LA and being in America in a total has changed my mindset because I started doing hip hop before I even left Belize. So to me, like the hip hop I used to do was an idea of what I thought of America and what I thought about hip hop music. And now being out there, living the life out there, uh, just built me to really see it through their eyes too. And now I feel like I relate to them re uh, a lot more. And now, you know, being signed to Interscope and, and working with a major company, opened up my eyes to how the business work. So now I'm a lot more aware of the business I'm in. So for me, uh, traveling really opened my eyes and opened my mind to how the business really works and that it's really a uh, uh, industry out there. You know I know you, baby. Forever for you, baby. To be back in Belize right now, I feel good to uh, see my family, first of all, because I'll be in America so long, I'll be seeing them for a minute. Um, sometimes you need to reset, reset, get grounded, back to like where you from and that's gonna recharge you to go where you're going. So I like to stay in touch with my reality, you feel me? Cause this is my reality, this is where I grew up. I spent all my childhood and almost my teenage life uh, out here. Uh, so I always come back to Belize to, to, to restart and reset my focus. I love when she class it. I love when she's shy. What you could expect from me in the near future is just a lot more growth and a lot more hits. Like I really been working a lot in the studio and now I think it's a time now where a lot more music gonna be coming out, projects, bodies of work. I have a mixtape coming out right now. Um, uh, Live Fast, Die Rich. 
You feel me? I got, got some good music on there, different different content, and I'm working on my first album after that. So I'm just uh, gonna keep building up content and growing, you feel me, as I get, you feel me, older in the game and, and, and get more knowledge, you feel me? The craziest thing that happened to me since I've been in the industry, I don't know, it would have to be like, I don't know, I would like to say like, shit, knowing that people are really gonna pay you to do music. <laughs> that shit was crazy to me. And next thing, like, you know, I be, in, I be going to a lot of celebrity parties and shit, and I be surprised sometimes. Like, it be crazy to me that I be in a room with so much people that, you feel me, I would see on TV or like, I'd see on on the internet, but I'd be around them in real life and I'd be tripping like, damn, shit. Like, I'm really like in this room right now. So that's like something crazy for me. You feel me? Like, I, I'm thinking about something funny, but I don't got no, no ideas right now. But like, that's something like crazy as in like, I'm surprised type crazy.